they always knew they would draw back the curtain on a tragedy. But now, as Interfet forces the UN and others bring East Timor back into world view, they're seeing destruction on a scale beyond anything they imagined. Most of the territory's infrastructure appears to have been levelled in an operation planned, led and at least partly carried out by TNI, Indonesia's military. See, it was um, a very, very carefully planned and brutally executed um, strategy and I've, I've never seen anything like it. Uh... The terror campaign of recent weeks forced the UN's East Timor spokesman, like virtually all foreign nationals, to flee Dili. Now David Wimhurst is back to a city utterly wrecked. Totally destroyed, almost totally destroyed. There, there are really very few buildings that are still standing in one piece. It appears to be an act of, of, of gross revenge or, or anger uh, because the East Timorese people dared to vote uh, in, a, in, a, in a popular consultation that the international community provided for uh, and they voted for their freedom, they voted for independence. Yeah, I would say some of the places were burned between 50 to 80 percent of the houses, the buildings, the infrastructure is completely destroyed. I think Aid worker Sonjai Sajwal yeah. joined one of three key UN helicopter assessment flights over East Timor to see whether the destruction of Dili had been repeated elsewhere across the territory. This looked far worse because they have raised to ground many of the major towns and uh, what they have done is they have burned the cities and the towns and now are systematically burning the villages. It's carried out very strategically, very systematically. Here they're piecing together the helicopter assessments and other eyewitness reports for a picture of what's left of East Timor's buildings. What they're seeing horrifies them. We've flown to the southwest over Maliana uh, and Same in that area, and we've seen total destruction on the ground. We've flown over the eastern part of East Timor to places like uh, uh, Los Palos and Delur and Lurai. 75% destruction across the board, no people around. Really? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Almost 24 years after they invaded, Indonesia's military is leaving East Timor from 20,000 troops down to a token force of 1,500. And as they go, pockets of Dili are still burning. The Australian and other foreign troops here can do little about it. Yesterday they watched as this storage area and adjoining bank burned in the late afternoon. That's exactly what, what it, it appears to be, a deliberately planned scorched earth policy to destroy all the infrastructure in East Timor. With Indonesia's military now largely gone and its facilities gone as well, some argue the threat to East Timor has now receded. Others see it differently, saying that the militias uncontrolled are more dangerous than ever. It increases the risk of conflict with the militia because to some degree the Indonesian army were controlling them because it was in their interest to do so. Uh, on the other hand, once the Indonesian army is out of the province, it makes it quite clear as to who is friend and who is foe and it will make it a great deal easier for the uh, troops on the ground, the United Nations troops, to actually get control of the situation. Bob Lowry says Indonesia's military may be leaving East Timor, but will still have an influence from West Timor. The more uh, likely course is that they will arm and train and pay East Timorese to cross the border and, and, and make trouble that way. Only now are the aid convoys beginning to head out to the tens of thousands driven from their homes. We joined this one into the hills one and a half hours south of Dili, to Remesio a village where the population has trebled as East Timorese flee to escape the terror elsewhere. They saw this as among the safest of places to hide. Yet even here, the main street is lined with buildings burnt to the ground. The military um, moved from here. They, they are, they are uh, the military and uh, the uh, military of, from people in East Timor is burned down. Indonesia's military burned the houses? Yes. Why did they do that? They are very, very um, angry with the people in East Timor because they are um, choosing for the independence. Australian soldiers found and treated this man, 
He says he tried to stop the Indonesian military and militiamen burning his home. They shot him. Others who've escaped injury in a wave of violence now wait to see whether their loved ones were as lucky. All my sisters stay in Delhi, but I do not know their, their situations. Do you think they are alive? I do not know. They are alive or, li no, no, alive or died, I do not know. The Indonesian military, long despised by the dogged independent supporters and fighters of East Timor, is all but gone. Increasingly, though, it seems purging them has come at an awful cost. One East Timor is in no position to pay. It is poorer than some of the countries in sub-Saharan Africa to start with. It will take probably but five years of just initial work to probably help these people to get back on their field, to get them new homes, and it'll take probably another 10 years to get the whole infrastructure back again to where it was 